welcome back to the Boot Tragedies. We're going to look at Marshawn Lattimore today. Had the pleasure of guarding A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith against the Eagles. Uh, two really, really good receivers. But Marshawn, he came, Marshawn Lattimore came out victorious You know, in these matchups. We'll go through a couple plays right here. Nothing major. Uh, this first play, not going to be anything in particular. I'm just going to show you what happened for most of this game. Most of this game was... Um, Let's go anywhere but Marshawn Lattimore's side. That's what we got most of this game. Let's go right if he's on the left. Uh, let's go left if he's on the right. So we really didn't didn't get to see Marshawn Lattimore um, get that many passing attempts thrown at him just because, I mean, why would you do that? That's any elite corner in the NFL. For me, he's the best corner in the league. He hasn't played since week five. Week five. He came out week 17 like he hasn't missed a beat. Uh, you could argue Jair Alexander, and I wouldn't argue with you. But other than that, don't don't mention anyone else's name with those two guys. All right, bottom of the screen right here. I mean, one-on-one -on -one with a tight end. A tight end's never going to beat him. Yeah, maybe he grabbed him just a little bit, but, I mean, that's football. Got it right here is using his arm to push off and also is complaining that he's getting held. Well, you're using your arms to push off, so you're going to get held. But great coverage by Lattimore right there. Great technique. Everything about it. Stop crying for a flag when you're pushing off yourself. Right here is just a third and long. They're going to be kind of in a cover four look. Lattimore is going to be bailing out. And right here, I mean, this is just... Nothing they can do here. Just great coverage on the outsides. He's got a little safety help. Not really, uh, just because he's good enough not to need it. Safety kind of helps on the tight end. Minshew checks it down. Saints get off the field. It was like basically first possession for Marshawn Lettimore. Uh Not going to get any passes thrown at him because I would have, personally, if you don't think he's that elite, I would have tested him. Coming, not playing since week five, it's week 17. That's 12 weeks plus a bye. So that's basically, what, 13 weeks maybe? 13 weeks he hasn't played hasn't played football. Bottom of the screen once again. Now this slant. I want y'all to pay attention to this. Notice how Morshawn Lattimore, he has outside leverage right here. He rarely gets safety help. He rarely gets safety up. So he's playing outside leverage, doesn't want to get beat outside, doesn't want to get beat up the field because if he does, that safety is not going to be there to help him. So pushes, you know, um, A.J. Brown inside, chases. You give him five yards, you'll be okay. You live to see another day. You live to see another day. Uh, that's not the end of the world right there. Once again, Lattimore lined up, A.J. Brown in route once again. Once again, once again, he's outside leverage right here. A.J. Brown in route, beats him. This is a really, really good route by A.J. Brown right here. Catch on what? This is second and 15. He gets six back, seven back. You're not, you're not too worried about that as well. They put him at third and eight, and you live with that result. Sorry to interrupt this greatness, but man, can you please click those links that are in the description, join these channels, uh, follow me on Twitter and things like that. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button right now. Right here, here's the third down play. He's in a little build technique right here. Boom, this is locked down. Notice how he gets his, ha gets his head on the quarterback right here. Right there, bam. He's looking at the quarterback, but... You got to feel where the receiver is. Got to keep contact with the receiver just in case, you know, he breaks down, which he does right here, and you can stop with him. I mean, if you want to look what, a, what an all-pro cornerback looks like, this is it right here. Boom, bailing at the beginning. All right, eyes on the quarterback. Makes contact with the receiver. Got to feel him because I'm not looking at him. He stops. Guess what? I stop. Perfect right there. You playing cornerback, that's how you play the position, man. And right here, this is excellent coverage right here on third and about 11 or 12. But, I mean, sometimes the, the receivers just win. Sometimes the receivers win. Sometimes the offense wins. But, I mean, he's in great coverage. This is Devontae Smith coming full speed at him. And he's really just sitting. No safety help. This guy can run right past him if he wants to. But let him more trust himself. Boom. He's here. 
I mean, he's there. Everything's perfect. I mean, got a little hand to the face by Devontae right there, but we ain't got to talk about that. Gets a little separation, and that's just football, though. It is what it is. Uh, got to be strong at that point of contact. I mean, great coverage, great route, great throw. Everything's about this is football. Everybody really won, to be honest. Lattimore won, Devontae Smith won. Just sometimes, man, hey, offense gets the best of you, but that's great coverage. I mean, you can't, you really can't cover it better than that. Top of the route, I mean, he's, he's literally smothered. Get to it with a tiny, tiny push off. Not enough contact for it to be, you know, anything major. Once again, he's outside leverage on Devontae Smith. Runs that in route. Doesn't go to Devontae Smith, though. And they kept running this all game. All game. Because they know usually that safety help is probably going to go to the inside. Especially with Pete Warner on A.J. Brown right there. That's going to be a double team by Tyron Matthew. And... Devontae Smith actually wins that route, but once again, it would have been for about four or five yards. They can't complete this pass. Now we go to the bottom of the screen once again. He's going to be at the bottom every time if you haven't realized he, he plays on the right side. Crazy. Same route. Same route. Exact same route. The, the Eagles figured out that he's going to give you the inside because he's not getting safety help. He doesn't want you to beat them outside. Look at that. See how he opens up to the outside? He doesn't want Devontae Smith to beat him downfield. Doesn't want Devontae Smith to beat him downfield. Now watch Roby on the inside real quick. He's not going to get beaten inside. He knows he, he has help. He has help so he can play. He can play that inside. Roby's locking that down. Look at the Debo on the other side. He knows he has safety help. And watch this. Boom. He can beat that on the outside. You know, he jumps that inside. Roby jumps that inside. But Lattimore, unfortunately, you're on the island. So you're going to just have to use your, your technique, use your skills, and, and try to cover this guy one-on-one, -on -one, which is the hardest thing in the NFL to do is a corner on the island with an elite receiver. Devontae Smith wins, but once again, only four to five yards. That's, that's the main thing. They keep winning these routes, but four to five yards, and you just get to live to see another day. Nothing major. Don't get beat deep on the outside, which is going to be the backbreaker for the defense. Top of the screen once again. Now this is beautiful coverage. Now he's like, all right, I've had enough of y'all coming inside of me. I've had enough of this. Watch how he does this. He starts kind of head up. He jumps to the outside, but he's baiting him. He's really baiting him. Tyron match is going to run up, and boom, I know you're coming back to the inside. I'm on this. I'm tired of it. I'm on it. It's time to get locked down. You know, I was filling out the game the first quarters, second quarter, just coming back. But now I'm up to game speed, and now you're, now you're cooked. Now you're cooked. I'm locking this down. Good play by Lattimore right there. We're not worried about the rest. Top of the screen. Hey, keep playing with me with this route. Keep playing with me with this route. He's sitting, sitting. I know it's coming. I'm breaking on this. Keep playing with me. That should have been a pick right there. Keep playing. I'm an all-pro corner now. You're running the same route all game. You're trying to clear out, throw this little in route, and I finally said I've had enough. I've been giving y'all four yards all game. I'm coming to get that. Doesn't come up with the interception, but you see what's going on. He, he's figured it out already. You're going to have to do something else. Top of the screen once again. And this is just lockdown coverage. This is A.J. Brown who's having an all-pro year against a guy who hasn't played in 13 weeks. I mean, look at this. From the jump, this is clamped. Nothing you can do about this. Nothing you can do about this. Boom, I turn for the ball. Who's the receiver right here? You can't even tell. If I showed you this steal shot man, and you didn't see anybody else on the field, you wouldn't know who the receiver is. Minshew's just trying to throw it back shoulder. He's trying to do something because he's like, damn. Lattimore got this boy Nelcatras over here. I don't know where to put this ball at. I mean, this is this is crazy. And hey, look at 27 right there, man. I wish Alante Taylor was on the field. Different story for a different day. Clamped up. Seat belt strapped up right there. Perfect, perfect coverage. About the 50-yard line right here. Going to have a tight end running the route on him. And, hey, you throw that ball, that's going to be clamped up. Letting you know right now. You put, a, you put a tight end on him, 
He doesn't have to worry about that tight end beating him deep. He's going to lock that down 10 times out of 10. Now, top of the screen right here. Notice Lattimore. They've run this exact same formation and exact same play a lot of times. A lot of times. That outside guy has run an inside route exactly out of two receivers. And that first guy that's in the middle, he usually just clears out, runs a slant, or goes deep. So Lattimore, watch on the start of this play. He's already looking inside. He's looking inside. He's looking inside. Even from the jump. He's going to look inside a little bit. He's worried about the receiver. But see how he's playing on the inside shoulder now? At first, he was playing on the outside shoulder. He's waiting. He's waiting for you to run that inside route. Like he's legit just waiting for you. Every, every play this formation, every play this game, he's been on the outside. But right now he's playing inside leverage because he's had, he's had enough of that five-yard in, five-yard out. You know, He's had enough of it. Right here, as you can see, he's inside leverage. And Fred, finally, he's going to have safety help because they're going to be playing like a cover two type look. And you see Tyron Matthews over top. And all game, guess what? He hasn't had any safety help. He's been on that island. The one play, they give him kind of safety help because it's a cover two look. Look what happens. We get a pick six. If I don't got to worry about getting beat deep, I can do this every play. So this a team should be lucky that he doesn't get any safety help because this will, this will what happen a lot. A lot. I gave you this all game. So what would you rather want as a team, you know? A guy that gives up four catches for four yards. He gave four catches, 16 yards, and then get a pick six. I'll take that from my corner each and every day. Just watch Lattimore on this play. He never, look at his eyes. He never takes his eyes off Minshew. He knows exactly what play is coming right here. This is just the, a great being a great. This is just a great being a great right here. Look at this. This man takes a step. As soon as the play starts, he knows exactly what's coming, and he's not having it. He is not having it. The Saints honestly know what come, knows, knows what's coming as well because watch Tyron Matthew at this play. Lattimore must have told him or the coaches must have told him, I'm going to give it you know, to Lattimore right here that, hey, I'm jumping this shit right here and you need to be ready to you know, help anything over top because look at, look at Tyron Matthew. From the beginning, he's getting to the sideline. If anything goes deep, Tyron Matthew is going to get that. Lattimore saying, I'm jumping this. Look at Lattimore's eyes. He's dead locked in on Minshew and you know what? We take this pick six, man. We take this to the crib. Excellent play. I'll give y'all a little bit to start this game just to, to kill you at the end. And that was a huge, huge play because the Saints lost all momentum. The Saints lost all momentum in this game. Uh, the Eagles were coming back. I think we were up three at this point, but we couldn't get anything going on offense. And this is when your best players need to make a play. I always say right here, man, when, it, when the game get on the line, you don't call plays, you call players. You call players, so you need Lattimore, you need Cam Joy, you need DeMario for on offense, you need uh, Kamara, you need someone to make a play. And on defense, one of your best guys who just came back, missed 12 games, comes back and does this for you, wins the game. Like I said, I think the best in the business. If you say Jair Alexander, especially with that performance he put on Justin Jefferson uh, this past weekend, I'm not going to argue it. I'm not going to argue it, but you're not going to say he's past number two. I'll tell you right there, man. That's Lattimore. First game back in weeks. If if he was back, obviously, at any time during the season, this season would go a lot different. He's only 26 years old. Let's get that under control. He's 26 years old. He's just entering the prime of his career. He's just entering the prime of his career. He's going to be a staple for this team. I know a lot of people are like, oh, man, the Saints are old. The Saints are this. We're really not that old. I think that's overblown. That's just a, a lie, to be honest. Receivers got young. The cornerbacks are super, super young. Uh, only person that's really old that, that's our main staple are Cam Jordan and Demario Davis, and they're both still playing at all pro levels. So, I mean, hey, if you want to call that old, call it old. Uh, but that's Lattimore, man. I think the best in the business. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. As always, just the boot tragedies. I'm out.